Do you get super frustrated when you log into your Google Ads account and you see an optimization score like this? Well, right now I'm going to show you how to beat that Google Ads optimization score. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner for the last 10 years. It can be maddening when you log into your Google Ads account and you see scores like this, and this, and this. And you probably say, I'm in here all the time. I'm trying to do what I can to optimize this. Why isn't this working? Well, let me just tell you that the answer is easier than you could possibly imagine. So some of you might be wondering what exactly is the optimization score? This is really Google's way of making sure that you're inside the account. The last thing that they want to do is have people set up accounts and never make changes again. Now, I cannot confirm this 100%. But from my understanding, you want to keep that optimization score at 70% or above. Anything below that, and we're told that the ads won't show as often as they should. So make sure you keep that optimization score above 70%. Let's hop into an account right now. I'm going to show you how to fix the optimization score in seconds. All right, so to see your optimization score, log into your campaign, click on your campaign. And up here in the top, you will see optimization score 81.7%. Now to fix this is really quite simple. Click on that optimization score and it'll take you to recommendations. Now this is key. Do not, absolutely do not accept all of the Google ad recommendations that Google provides to you. A lot of these are designed to get your campaign to spend more money, but it does not necessarily mean it will help. Let me show you what I mean. So you can see 81.7% optimization score. We wanna keep that above 70. So you can see ad site links to your ads. This will increase our score 6.1%. However, we don't want to do this. In this instance, the way that we're running ads for this campaign, we're only taking them to our landing pages, not to anywhere else. So we don't want to do this. All we have to do is go to the three dots and click dismiss all. It'll say, I will do it later. This is complicated. I don't think it'll improve my performance. You can fill this in or not, or you can just click dismiss all. And you can see we just jumped 6% from 81 to 87%. Measure values for your conversions. This is a service business and every client might be a different value. So we're not going to do this. This isn't going to help us. We're just going to dismiss that one. Complete advertiser verification. This is one that we do definitely need to get our client to do. That will help increase at 4%. But you can see we're already at 94%. Improve our responsive search ads. We're going to go in and check that out. Try the new Google Ads mobile app. This isn't going to increase our score, but we just want to get rid of this. Add new keywords. Some of these might be good keywords to add, but in this, so you can just click on seven recommendations. You can choose if you want to add some of these and then you can hit apply. It will show you the ad group and it will show you the bid it's going to make. But in this instance, we don't want to add any of these. So we're going to say dismiss all. Might put, I don't think it will improve my performance. And we're up to 95%. So I'm going to go in also and improve some of the responses search ads. And we're going to get our client to complete the advertiser verification. And that will bring this up to 100%. But make sure you check on this number from time to time as it will change as the campaign gets older and matures more. Did I help answer your question about the optimization score? If so, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe, it really helps us grow our channel. And if you wanna learn more tips and tricks like this, I have a Google Ads course, I'll put the link down in the description below, and I also have a Google Ads agency course, which can show you how to start, grow, and or scale your digital marketing agency. And if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below as we use those to determine what types of videos we're doing next. And if you want some more of our Google Ads or agency tips and tricks, over to the right hand side, you'll see some of those videos. Thank you very much. I really do greatly appreciate it and we'll see you next time.